Hello. Today it is Friday the 13th. In the 1980s, there was a film series um, called Friday the 13th. It was basically an original film followed by several sequels. Featuring the character um, Jason Voorhees, and he was a buzzy that wore a strange sort of mask that looked a bit like a colander, but not quite. I don't understand what it was supposed to be, but it looked like some sort of colander, and he went round killing people. Let's look at um, a clip from one of the sequels. In Western culture, 13 is considered an unlucky number, and Friday the 13th is considered an unlucky day. Often, for example, um, in the past, I don't know about today, but in the past, sometimes they would not build any houses with the number 13 on them. So they would deliberately skip a number. Um, often you have one street which has even numbers and the and opposite they have odd numbers. So for example, um, you might have normal you would normally have had a street with for example 11, 13, 15. But sometimes I would skip the 13 and just have 11, 15, 17, etc so that they could skip the number 13. The reason for this is some people didn't want to live in a house with the number 13 and also houses with the number 13 in the address were harder to sell and actually didn't generate as much money for some strange superstitious reason. So there you go. But what started all of this? Well According to Wikipedia, um, they claim that this is some um, Norse myth so about um, 12 gods having a dinner in Valhalla and a god called Loki, who was not invited, um, arranged for... Um, or whoever that is, to shoot Boulder, whoever that is, with a mistletoe-tipped arrow, killing him, or the god. I don't know, I'm not an expert on all this, I'm just reading this pretty much from Wikipedia. I'm, I'm not an expert on, you know, Nordic, Norse myth mythology, so it apparently has something to do with that. Um... So I believe it's based on some sort of religious mythology of the past, I believe. Um, but anyway, as I said, the number 13 is considered unlucky over here and Friday the 13th is considered one of the unluckiest days. There is guaranteed to be at least one Friday the 13th a year, but sometimes there are more Friday the 13ths in a year. Anyway, nothing seems to have happened so far, but it was unlucky for one of our um, 
political advisors called, well, a British political advisor called Dominic Cummings, as he has apparently left Downing Street today. Um, he was a very close advisor to the Prime Minister, um, but, and was one of the main campaigners for Brexit, but for reasons I don't fully understand, um, he's now left. Apparently one of his allies left, and they believed after one of his close allies left, he would leave too. He has said he wanted to leave before the end of the year anyway, and there has been a lot of fuss in the press recently about when he would leave. He thought he'd just leave now, just to stop the media going on and on about it. Um, but apparently he's going to work from home and still advise the Prime Minister privately from home. But he's not going to talk to anybody in person, I think, in Downing Street or anywhere else similar, I believe. Um, I think the idea was that... Um, Brexit's coming to an end. It's all, we've already officially left the EU, but um, at the moment Britain is trying to um, get a trade deal with the EU after the end of the year, and maybe they feel that as it's coming up to Christmas and a lot of this may end up soon anyway, and he probably can't provide much more help than he already has. He decided to just disappear and go himself. So there you go. It's unlucky for him because he decided to leave because of public pressure um, and media pressure. But anyway, there you go, guys. Friday the 13th, a strange Western superstition. OK, I believe in China, the number four is considered unlucky. In the West, it's the number 13. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.